If you ask what determines the Earth's climate, clearly the main, the main thing that determines it is uh, sunlight. Sunlight is what heats the Earth. Uh, not all the light that uh, arrives at the Earth from the sun goes to heating the Earth. Some of it is reflected back. It's just the, uh, the part that is absorbed. Uh, and what happens is there's a certain rate at which sunlight is absorbed by the Earth's surface, and there's a certain rate at which the Earth's surface radiates to space. What comes from the sun is in the ordinary visible part of the spectrum that our eyes are sensitive to. What the Earth radiates into space is in the infrared part of the spectrum, longer waves than red, that our eyes are not sensitive to, but it's as legitimate, <coughs> excuse me, a, a form of light as the kind that we're, that we're uh, used to. Now, if you calculate what the temperature of the Earth ought to be, from how much sunlight is being absorbed, uh, equaling how much infrared radiation would be radiated to space, you find that the Earth's temperature, by this simple calculation, is too low. It's about 30 centigrade degrees too low. And uh, why is it too low? It's too low because something was left out of the calculation. What was left out of the calculation? The greenhouse effect. Uh, the air between us is transparent, except in Los Angeles and places of that sort, uh, in the ordinary visible part of the spectrum. We can see each other. But if our eyes were sensitive at, say, 15 microns in the infrared, we could not see each other. The air would be black uh, between us, and that's because, in this case, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is very strongly absorbing uh, at 15 microns and other wavelengths in the infrared. Likewise, there are parts of the infrared spectrum where water vapor absorbs, where we could not see each other if, uh, if we were only as far apart as we are in this room.